exercises there for coordination of um, lower extremity. So by the definition, coordination is accurate, smooth, controlled, <coughs> precise movement. And so I'm going to look at the distance, at the um, tension, at the speed, um, all those kind of little details about my patients actually to bring her from initial um, point to the final where she can have this oscillate a nice move, um, movement. Uh, she is the injury head injury patient, so like Jamie said, I'm going to provide very simple and easy instructions. Um, so first of all, we came up with idea to, to for the progression of the exercises, um, we want to first start with the close environment, and the purpose is to eliminate the noise, additional obstacles, sorry, I don't have this, additional obstacles, and to just have her be focused and have him have be focused and um, um, just able to perform as best as he can. So close environment for the first um, three exercises that we came up with are uh, drawing circles of the maybe leg first and then foot. It's just all that with the time and progression we can start with the leg and then we can do the ankle. And then um, the next one we do heel on the shin. And I'm gonna demonstrate for him. Um, that's the second one. And the third one, toes, patient's toes to the PTA hands. Bring the toes, so I'm gonna just, but just a quick review what I'm doing. Uh, the first, first we're gonna do in the closer environment, which is probably patient's room, I will probably bring his bed down to the level that he can have support because the first the first one is um, cir drawing circles and the patient will be sitting with eyes open and closer environment. So this is the first one. And that's gonna probably happen the first day of the therapy. Um, so next time I'm gonna see the patient, there will be eyes open and still in his room, close environment, but um, without, first she, she, he'll be holding, having support, and then second time he'll be without support, still eyes open. The third time we're gonna be doing the same exercise with eyes open, um, Close environment, no hands. The first one, the fourth one will be close eyes, and when we had close eyes or close environment and hands holding. So this kind of step by step progression to bring him from the beginning to more advanced. So what I would like you to do first is uh, what's your name, John? <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna support. Uh, you're gonna have support. You hold your bed and then with your eyes open, you're gonna have your eyes open, and I would like you to um, basically do the circle of your feet, if you can. And if you can do five times, and take a break, and you're gonna do the same for me with the other leg. For the upper extremity, um, which was kind of hard to figure out what would be appropriate for this patient since he really doesn't have any no yeah, deficits. Mostly okay. So uh, we just came up with some um, equilibrium activity. So um, basically the first one was, you're going to do the pen cap first. Sure, you do the pen cap. Is, um, okay. So you're going to reach out and you're going to take the pen and then you're going to put it into the cap and I'm going to move it around and you're going to put it in. And if you're working with a head injury patient, you might not even say all that. You may hand them the pen, put out the cap, yeah. and say, put the cap on the pen. Because a head injury patient, like the whole, here's the pen, you have to put the cap on the pen, it might, it might be too much. So yeah. if they get confused, just remember, just hand something to them and just, <laughs> here, put the cap on. And you do it on both sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do it Excellent. on both sides. Excellent. Okay. 
Okay. And then um, <coughs> patty cake. Okay. So you're going to clap your hands together, and then we're going to tap, clap, tap, clap. And then as they get better, you can do it. The next one, we're going to clap and do both. And this this works on mirroring, you know, that kind of where you're following verbal and yeah, it, it, really good. it does. It looks very now simple, but it's knees. working on rhythm, sequencing, mirroring, knees. concentration. And then, of course, if you wanted to challenge that, then you could have the patient stand. So it's a good one. It looks simple, but it is really good. Yeah, then it's like... then it, then you got depth perception in there too. Awesome. Yeah. Spatial yeah. awareness. Yeah. Really crazy with, you can do all the yeah. 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 Yeah.